today I'm making a video showing you the um, common cause of a clicking noise. It usually only happens once when you first take off in the morning or the first time you apply the brakes. Um, it'll kind of, what happens is the, it's aftermarket pads. I've never seen it with a, with a set of factory pads before, but um, you'll see that the way the pad fits the carrier is actually too loose. You'll get a lot of, um, you'll get a lot of forward, you'll get a lot of up and down movement. This is a this is a decent ex this won't actually cause a noise on this example I'm using which is probably not the best but um, if you take a if you take a, a screwdriver and you stick it right here and you pry the pad one way and then you pry the pad back the other way there should only be a very sm slight amount of movement there shouldn't be a whole lot um, when you start getting a lot this um, this this movement up and down will will cause a uh, will cause a clicking sound. Um, the spring clip can only provide so much tension. That really doesn't, that really doesn't, this anti-rattle clip doesn't really, doesn't help with this issue. Um, the issue, you know, you have, when you apply the brakes, the pad loads to one side. And then when you, um, when you go in reverse and then apply the brakes, the rotor spinning the other way, it grabs here and it shoves it back the other direction. You get a clicking noise. Um, another reason why using high quality parts, uh, any reputable brand, usually I don't have too much of a problem with even Techstars, Akibonos, um, tons of Wee Wagners, you know, a lot of, a lot of different brands that are reasonable too. I don't have much issues with, but every once in a while you'll see it where a guy will come in and he'll be complaining about this clicking noise. He only hears it when he first starts the car in the morning and he applies the brakes and, um, that's it. The rear is something a little bit different sometimes. The rear can be the same thing, too much movement up and down, but it can also be when the when the pads were installed, these clips weren't put into the caliper correctly. These clips have to be they have to be depressed by the caliper. When you push it on, they have to be both squeezed behind the caliper. You shouldn't really be able to see them other than the center of it. But sometimes people will have these things installed where one of these will be hanging out and then it'll keep no tension. And then any slight amount of movement at all will click back and forth. But these should also have about the same amount of movement, very minimal, and it won't, you know, won't be a noticeable noise. So you can see um, what I'm trying to show you is, yeah, what I'm saying is this spring clip here, when it goes, when it goes inside here, people will have it so that one of the little springs is hanging, hanging like this, sticking through the center and not pushed up against, you know, centered and pushed straight up, keeping tension on the brake pad. So that's something to look for. Um, the way you'll know it's that and not something else suspension related or something like that is because you'll be able to kind of play it going forward, hitting the brake, click, reverse, hitting the brake, click, and then if you continue going the same direction and applying the brake, it won't continue to click. It'll only do it once. And it'll only be when you load the pad one way, load the pad the other way. So from pretty easy to diagnose from the driver's seat. But um, yeah, just something to look for, especially when uh, brake pads were just changed and they were changed with cheap stuff. So thank you.